Hello and welcome to another Microsoft PowerPoint tutorial. In this tutorial we will going to be working with a PowerPoint presentation as opposed to in the last one we only learned how to open, save, um, and close and start a new PowerPoint presentation. So right on your, your PowerPoint presentation you need to understand a few areas which are uh, carrying over from Word. For example, if you notice up top, you have the file menu. Just color differently, but it's still the file menu. You click on it, it drops down. The only menu available. If you click on it again, it drops again. And then you have a bunch of tabs here. Home, Insert, Design, Transition, Animation, Slideshow. The names of the tabs are different because it's a different tool. However, the idea is exactly the same. That all the tabs, their collection is called Still Call Ribbon. You still have the Help button in the corner. You still get this little arrow to the left of Help you click on it, it minimizes the ribbon, you click on it, it drops the ribbon back again on you. And all the tabs are divided is still in groups, each groups of options. Everything is same as you have learned in Word. Nothing has changed here except for the names of the options, where they are placed, and which tab you're going to find what. Some of the shortcuts may not be the same, so make sure you check on the shortcuts before you use them. So here we're going to understand the Outside of the ribbon area, we have got these three portions, which are called the panes, P-A-N-E-S. Pane is short for panel, which we have also talked about in Word. Here we have a pane, which is called slides and outline pane. Well, because those are the two tabs available in this pane. So this is called slides and outline pane. Right in the center, this is where your content area goes in your slide. So this is your slide pane. This is what you get, where you got to work on your slide right in the center. And down below is the notes pane, where you can type some extra notes on the contents of the slide. Now here is a big problem that I've noticed in the industry and I've noticed in the classroom. I've noticed in so many different places that people put every single thing that they want to talk about right on the slide and then they're going to read from it. The worst thing that you can do to the people that you're presenting. You make sure your PowerPoint slide is bullet points. The things that you may forget, you're putting it down there so that in case you forget, you have something to remind you that you've missed to talk about this. There are some visual aids that you could use, movies, videos, graphics. Those can aid your presentation, but never put paragraphs after paragraphs after paragraphs of text in the slide and read from it. Never do that. It bores your audience to death, especially if they're adults. It pretty much makes them feel like, oh, maybe I do not know how to read. That's why he's reading to me. So rather what you do is you put the bullet points up there and all the extra information that you want to keep for yourself so that you know the details of the bullet points that you need to talk about, you just write them in the notes. Well, the good thing is that you can always bring your mouse between the divider and you can click and drag it up if you would like to get more area for writing notes. And this is where you can type notes. Uh, this is my title slide. The slide talks about PowerPoint presentations. Now, this is another thing with PowerPoint. Notice it's highlighted in red because, first of all, it's one word. And second of all, both P's are uppercase. And then you can have the notes per slide. You do not need to maintain one notes area for the entire presentation. And you can always print the notes out. And we're going to be talking about it later on. So here is my slide. So I have my slides outline pane. I have my slides pane. And I got my notes pane down here. Down below, I have a status bar here. You can see the status bar. It has a bunch of view options on the side. We're going to explore that later on. And here you have the zoom in and zoom out. Notice I could zoom in and then I can zoom out. Okay. Also, if you have zoomed out too much or zoomed in too much, you can have a special button over here in the corner that is called Fit Slide to Current Window. So if you're viewing it on a 29 inch monitor, 32 inch monitor versus a little 13 inch monitor, this is going to just make it fit perfect to the available area. So it's just in one click. So this comes very handy. So now here towards the bottom, on the other side you have slides, number of slides. If I have more than one slide, so we're going to say whichever slide I'm in out of whichever slides, the total number of slides. 
followed by theme. We'll talk about that. That's very important here. Even though we had it in Word, we'll talk about it in more detail. And then we have the spell check right next to it. Now, what is a theme? A theme controls your entire environment of your PowerPoint presentation. Your slide, layout, colors, text. The entire environment that you see in front of you in your presentation is called your theme. The default name for the theme or the default theme that comes bundled with each PowerPoint presentation is called the office theme. And that decides which font size will be used, what font colors will be used, how the slides will be layout. The entire, uh, uh, the whole nine yards of your slides presentations look and feel is controlled by your theme. Later on in one of the tutorials, we're going to learn how you go about changing the themes. But for now, this is what basically the theme is. So that's your overall environment. Now you see these placeholders. These are called content placeholders. If you click on it, this is the title content placeholder. So I can go about typing a title for this presentation. PowerPoint presentation. And then down below you can add, you can click to add subtitle. Okay. Tutorial number two. And I can click outside in the white region if I would like to deselect. Now notice whenever you see this four-sided mouse pointer that means you're at a point where you can click to select. Whenever you see this mouse pointer that is like an arrow that means you can click to deselect. And anytime you bring your mouse over the text you see this I-beam symbol that means if you click now you're going to be entering into an edit mode for a PowerPoint presentation. So this is my first slide and always PowerPoint presentations do open up with one slide with title and subtitle so therefore this is called your title slide because you get to put your titles on it. Now I'm going to be adding another slide right past the first slide. So there are multiple ways of inserting a slide. We're going to cover that in our next tutorial. We're all going to be telling you different ways of inserting slides in a PowerPoint presentation. That's all for now. Catch you in the next one. Thank you for watching.